How far is 90 miles? The 90 miles that separate Cuba and the United States have in recent generations served as a symbol of our differences with the Cuban government. For over half a century, these differences have turned those 90 miles into an economic and ideological barrier that has separated not just our governments, but our peoples as well. Many of these differences remain, but President Obama's new direction toward Cuba changes our focus from differences with the Cuban government to the deep and significant ties we enjoy with the Cuban people. We are tied together as neighbors, with a flight from Havana to Miami lasting only 45 minutes. We are tied together as family, with Cuban Americans having made enormous contributions to our country. And we are tied together as friends, with a deep and shared commitment to universal values and increasing the prosperity of our region. In the 54 years since our governments terminated diplomatic relations and the U.S. Embassy lowered its flag in Havana, this friendship between our peoples has never weakened. Larry Morris, Mike East, and Jim Tracy know this firsthand. They have been waiting since 1961 to return to Havana. On the 4th of January, 1961, these three Marines assigned to U.S. Embassy Havana were faced with the grim prospect of lowering the American flag outside the embassy for the last time. For 54 years, the soldiers' warm affection for the Cuban people has never wavered and neither has their belief that one day they would reunite to raise the flag again. We knew in advance that in three days that we had to be out. A deeper squall, he was our NCIC. He said, I need three volunteers to bring the flag down for the final time. I think the NCOIC said something about the biggest, ugliest Marines you can find. Send them down here. And I said, uh, well, I'll be one. I was the senior uh, watchstander there. I was a sergeant E4. Morris was a lance corporal E3, and East was a corporal E4. The embassy's got these big glass doors. And we went out, the three of us, went out, stood on the steps, and out there's 300. Cubans. The sidewalk just parted. We had to go down, turn left, and get in front of the flag, and didn't have anybody on the sidewalks at all. They knew what we were going to do. Brought the flag down. I think Morris might have said, do you want to stay out here and, and fold the flag? Because there's a certain way you have to fold it. We could have just wrapped it up and marched in. And somebody says, hell yes. So. We fought for the flag. <laughs> that was a touch of moment. <laughs> to see old glory flying the last time in Cuba, you know, that was just didn't seem right. You know, it just seemed like something was wrong, something was missing, you know. People liked us. Just like family, I guess. The people were just happy. They were lucky. They was uh, carefree, you know, and they was loving people. Really nice people liking other nice people and letting people know that they like them, that they wanted them there. They want to mix with us, you know, get to know each other. I mean, I guess there's a, just a special bond with Cuba, I guess, you know. It's just a, it's a bond that you can't put it to words, you know, you just, it's something that uh, you would like to see. I was just there four, four and a half months, but I enjoyed the people in Cuba better than, than any place I've ever, I've ever been. Oh yeah, I think about Cuba all the time. Me and my wife been married for 44 years, and I talked to her about 44 years about it.
47 years. <laughs> It's a place I always wanted to go back to. You think about the good times you had, think about the people that you met, uh, the friendships. Today, the United States of America is changing its relationship with the people of Cuba. In the most significant changes in our policy in more than 50 years, we will end an outdated approach that for decades has failed to advance our interests, and instead we will begin to normalize relations between our two countries. Through these changes, we intend to create more opportunities for the American and Cuban people and begin a new chapter among the nations of the Americas. It's coming back to where it should me. I'm really excited about it. I think everybody's going to like what comes out of it. There's a lot of people that have been hurt. You know, families separated and all these things, you know. It'll give them time to get back to, to, to back their families. Plus, it'll give me a time to maybe get back to Cuba, too, and, and check and see what things are like. I'd like to see a whole bunch of senators and Congressman, just travel to Cuba, say hi. Have you ever been to Cuba? You got to go too. <laughs> Larry and uh, Jim started calling me and telling me about Cuba, 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 you know? Me and, me and Jim would kid each other. He says, uh, about going back to Cuba and raising the flag. And he says, he said, would you go? I said, Jim, I'd pay my own way if I had to. Never thought I'd be going back, but uh, I'll welcome the chance. I'm, I'm going to love putting that, seeing that flag go back up. Yeah, I think about it every night now. Seeing that flag go back up, it means a lot. If I'm talking to an American, you will enjoy your time in Cuba. and I'll bet you, you will go back. How far is 90 miles? How long are 54 years? Long, perhaps, in terms of lifetimes, but nothing in the face of the deep and enduring friendship between the United States and Cuban peoples.